Sophie walks into the Manchester Liverpool train station, holding her phone with a good amount of six floor out open. She turns down the hallway to her left. Oh, hi, my name's Sophie. I work at Liverpool Lime Street Station. I've been here for about four and a half years now. Um, I'm a mobility assistant, so I help people who have disability needs um, get on and off trains safely um, when it's busy, stuff like that. The Good Maps app opens and prompts her to go straight. So the main issue we have with um, passenger assistance is obviously, as you can imagine, it's Liverpool match days, football. Uh, it can get incredibly busy. Sophie looks down at her phone as she walks through the busy train station. She looks up and has arrived at a Starbucks location. The Good Maps app notifies her that she has arrived. So for anyone who has anxiety or anyone in wheelchairs, visually impaired passengers, it can be quite difficult for them. If we're really busy, I might only have a couple of minutes to be able to help someone. This app will give people the opportunity to not only understand what's on the station, but be able to go and do it for themselves. So if they're waiting for me to assist them for another train, they can go and have a look around while I'm doing another job and it gives them the freedom to explore the station and see what's here. Sophie walks out of the Starbucks with a coffee in one hand and her phone in another. She looks at her phone as she turns right out of Starbucks, down the corridor, to her next destination. It's very easy when you're outside and you've got the roads, but when you come inside and you don't know where you're going, it's very, very overwhelming. So it would be great if something like Good Maps could be more situated in everyday life. Sophie turns left and approaches the train platform. And after using it today, it's, it's made things so easy. I could go to any station where I felt a little bit anxious. London Euston, for example, it's a big station. You don't know where things are. It's just going to make people feel so much safer and secure for using it in different stations. Sophie smiles as she looks at her phone at the train platform.